I will be making salmon stuffed bell peppers today. This is a nice alternative to like traditional cheese and beef stuffed bell peppers that have a lot of saturated fat. This is gonna be a good source of omega-3s. Um, so I already have the ingredients all set up. This is a third a cup of quinoa, which we're going to combine with about two thirds cup of water. Um, that takes about 15 minutes to cook. So I'm gonna do that uh, right at the beginning. And then the bell peppers go into the oven for about 20 or 30 minutes until they start to brown and get soft. So those should go in right away. Um, the salmon I've already sprinkled with a spice mixture here um, just to get that settled. And I've left about half the spice mixture to add to the skillet afterwards just to get that um, flavor right at the end. There's about a clove of garlic here or maybe a little more. Some scallions, uh, red bell peppers, diced salsa, and then I have an avocado and cilantro here, um, and then the olive oil, which we're gonna use to saute the salmon and the onions and garlic. So I just wanted to show you how I did this bell pepper. I sliced the top off and then I um, seeded it and it's really simple. So you're just gonna take the top off like so, and then you're gonna clip it around so that it kind of disconnects uh, with the bell pepper, and then you can just twist it off. Boom. And I just go in and get whatever's left. And it's nice and seated. And then I can just put the top on like so and set it up on my baking sheet. These are girls, these are lady bell peppers. They have four bottoms. Oh, this is a boy bell pepper. He has three bottoms. But this one I think is a girl bell pepper. Yeah, she has four knobs at her bottom. Um, and they're just easier to stand up. So I like the ones that can stand up to make it a pretty display. So now that my skillet is pretty hot, I'm gonna put the salmon um, in the skillet, skin side down. And that sound is a good sound. So we're not really gonna move the salmon. We want it to get a nice crust. We're gonna let him chill here for about four minutes or until we can see the pink halfway up and then we're gonna flip it. Um, let's see it in here, there he is. Um, and then after we flip it, we're gonna add the garlic and the onions, and we're gonna keep that moving so that the garlic doesn't burn. You can see this is my quinoa cooking, my bell peppers are in the oven, and when I come back, we'll have this all finished and I'll be um, combining everything. I flaked the salmon very easily. It doesn't look super pretty, but it is delicious. And then I added it to the onion and the garlic, and then I added that um, tablespoon of salsa in. And then here's my completed quinoa. This is red quinoa, but you could use any type you like. Um, and here are my uh, bell peppers. You can see that they're like wrinkly and starting to get brown, just like the tops. So I'm gonna stuff the salmon, the quinoa first, and then the salmon into each of the uh, bell peppers. So the cool thing about this dish is you can kind of make it what you want. Like I had salmon in the fridge and I had quinoa in my pantry, but you could use rice if you wanted brown rice. Um, the cost of this recipe, the salmon was the most expensive thing. It was about $3 though. It was pretty cheap because I went to um, Kroger to get salmon last week. And this quinoa I've had in the pantry for a while. Um, and it costs about $5 for the, for the whole container. So I probably used about um, 50 cents worth of quinoa here. So this is actually a pretty affordable recipe and it's really freaking delicious. So I'm just gonna stuff it really nice. And then if you didn't have salmon, you could use shrimp or whatever fish you wanted. You could even use crumbled tofu or any of those substitutes um, for this dish. Just so happened that salmon was what I had. So here we go. I'm gonna put the top back on and then I'm gonna put it in the oven for like five minutes just to incorporate it. This is my finished product. I added the scallions uh, and salsa that was left, avocado and cilantro sprinkled on top. This whole thing took about 40 minutes and it's about 482 calories. 